bless you. God bless you, saints. Welcome to another episode of The Prophet's Corner. We are glad to be here again live in the SOT Center. We're, today I have a special episode with me. I have sis, our sister Roxanne from our church who is going to help and, uh, you know, dissect today's topic. We are really looking forward to God doing some, uh, really un unpacking the scripture here. And we're going to talk about something that's so powerful um, that happens in ministries and in churches. Um, we're going to talk about the ministry of the false witness. Mm -hmm. Now, this is a very powerful topic. You know, something that in the realm of the prophetic, we deal with a lot of we deal with the, we deal with the people speaking all kinds and manners of um, of um, speeches and truth. And the prophet, you know, it has to have this ability to discern and be able to understand. But there is a ministry that comes against the prophet that is released from Jezebel. And this is the ministry of the false witness. Mm -hmm. So, you know, me and Roxanne's going to jump right into this now. Uh, it comes from 1 Kings 21. Mm -hmm. So if I want you to get, just read it out for us, Roxanne, if you can. Okay. So we'll read from 1 Kings 21, and it reads thus, And it came to pass after these things that Naboth the um, Jezreelite had a vineyard, which was in Jezreel, next to the palace of Ahab, king of Samaria. So Ahab spoke to Naboth, saying, Give me your vineyard, that I may have it for a vegetable garden, mm. because it is near next to my house, and for it... For it I will give you a vineyard better than it. Or, if it seems good to you, I will give you its worth in money. But Nahab, Naboth said to, Nah to Ahab, The Lord forbid that I should give you the inheritance of my fathers to you. So Ahab went into his house swollen and displeased mm -hmm. because of the word which Naboth, the Jezreelite, had spoken to him. For he had said, I will not give you the inheritance of my fathers. And he lay down on his bed and turned away his face and would not eat no food. But Jezebel, his wife, came to him and said to him, Why is your spirit so swollen that you eat no food? He said to her, Because I spoke to neighbor, the Jezreelite, and said to him, Give me your vineyard for money. Or else, if it pleases you, I will give you another vineyard for, for it. And he answered, I will not give you my vineyard. Then Jezebel, his wife, said to him, You now exercise authority over Israel. Arise, eat food, and let your heart be cheerful. I will give you the vineyard of neighbor, the Jezreelite. And she wrote letters to a in Ahab's name, sealed them with his seal, and sent the letters to the elders, the, and they, no, the nobles, sorry, who were dwelling in the city with Naboth. She wrote in the letter, saying, Proclaim a fast, and seat, and seat Naboth with high honor among the people, and seat two men, scoundrels, before him to bear witness against him saying you have blasphemed god and the king then take him out and stone him that he may die so the men of the city the elders and nobles were who were inhabitants of this city did as jezebel as sent to to them as it was written in the letters which she had sent to them they proclaimed a fast and seated neighbors with high honor among the people. And two men, scoundrels, came in and sat before him. And the scoundrels witnessed against him, against Naboth, in the presence of the people, saying, Naboth has blasphemed God and the king. Then they took him outside the city and stoned him with stones so that he died. Then they sent to Jezebel, saying, Naboth has been stoned and is dead. And it came to pass when Jezebel heard that Naboth had been stoned and was dead, that Jezebel said to Ahab, Arise, take possession of the vineyard of Naboth the Jezreelites, which he refused to give you for money. For Naboth is not alive, but dead. So it was when Ahab heard that Naboth was dead, 
that Ahab got up and went down to take position, possession of the vineyard of Naboth the Jezreelites. Wow. Let's go up to 18. Sorry, pray, praise God. Yeah. And the word of the Lord came to Elijah the Tishbite, saying, Arise, go down to meet Ahab, king of Israel, who lives in Samaria. There he is in the vineyard of Naboth, where he had gone down to take possession of it. Amen. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. You know, something happened that was very, very, very demonic yes. in this story. You see, the scripture says that Naboth was a man that had a vineyard. It was in the sight of Ahab's house. Amen. It was in the sight of his palace, and, ah and Ahab wanted to use it as a vegetable garden. But Naboth said, I cannot give yes. you my vineyard. Amen. I cannot give you my property yes. because this property belonged to my forefathers. Amen. And so Jezebel came in, saw his wife, saw his husband, sorry, downcast and sorrowful. And she says, you know what? Cheer up. Mm -hmm. Don't worry. Eat. I'm going to get you a plan. Mm -hmm. I'm going to get you, sorry, the vineyard. Amen. And she made a plan. Amen. And this plan was to set up Naboth and pretend that they were going to honor him. Mm -hmm. And then take these false witnesses, put them at the table, Hallelujah. and then begin to say that Naboth um, blasphemed the king. And so that Naboth would be stoned mm -hmm. and Naboth would be would be killed, yes. and so Ahab could get his vineyard. Praise God. Praise the Lord. Amen. And you see, something happened now um, when Elijah came up. When Elijah Amen. the prophet came up to Ahab, the first thing God said to him was not that you are going, not the, not his purpose for meeting Ahab, not his reason for going there. Mm -hmm. He going, you're going to find, he said to me, the location, you're going to find Ahab mm -hmm. in the place where he killed Naboth. Yes. And he said to him, Naboth's blood still cries out for me Amen. from the ground. Amen. You see, so we're looking at something really demonic that mm -hmm. happens in the church. It happens in workplaces. It happens in all yes. kinds of places. It's the ministry, the ministry mm -hmm. of the false witness. Yes. People that will intentionally say things convincingly to lie. Now, you know, Roxanne, we've all been in a place yes. where we've been lied upon. Yeah. Where we've been, people have said things about us. People have falsely accused us. They've done things to us, you know. And you see, we have to be able to realize and that, you know, not everybody that tells you they're speaking the truth mm -hmm. is speaking the truth. Amen. Amen. Do you know? And you so there was something that, you know, um, um, the people that judged Naboth could not discern that these men were paid, mm -hmm. paid to mm -hmm. lie against the man of God. Now, I don't know if you've ever been in that situation where you have been um, lied upon, mm -hmm. your character lied upon, mm -hmm. your ministry lied upon by people who wanted to either get back at you, mm -hmm. who ever wanted to attack you, yes. who ever wanted to say things about you. I mean, have you ever been in that place, Watson? Oh, yes, I have been. I have been. And sometimes this is where um, we are being tested. This is what you can see what Jezebel did was um, demonic manipulation. Mm -hmm. How he manipulate the situation. You understand? Because he want this man to switch his inheritance that God has given Come him. On. To take his inheritance away from him. But he refused to, to, to give his inheritance. Mm -hmm. You understand? And sometimes the enemy will lie so that the anointing of God mm -hmm. upon our life that we will switch it mm. for the fake. You understand? Because he said, I will give you land or money. But the anointing of God is not for mm. sale. What God has deposited yes. in us yes. is not for sale. Wow. You understand? And this is this is high manipulation mm. of Jezebel. How we manipulate yes. Naboth. Yes. You understand? And because Naboth would not surrender, he would not bow mm. his feet um, um, to, to Jezebel. He yes. decided to take him out. That's right. Look at that. Praise and God. And you see, we've got to be aware Mm -hmm. The Bible says we are not ignorant of, of Satan's amen, devices. Amen. And one of the devices when you encounter Je Jezebel, a mm -hmm. Jezebel spirit. spirit yes. Now we even get Jezebel spirit yes. from the actions of this woman. Amen. It's a manipulative, calculating, hey, uh -huh. demonic spirit. Exactly. And her original mission in the Old Testament, she was a high prophetess of oh, yes. Baal. Oh, yes. But she was sent to kill the prophets of God. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. And you see, one of the things that can kill you greater than a sword is an assassination Amen. of your character. Amen. When yes. somebody assassinates your, your character, character, yes. 
when somebody says something to you, says a false witness to speak against you, mm -hmm. it it can it can destroy people's perception. Yes. I don't know if you've ever been here, you know, Roxy, but um, you know, there's times I've come to meet people. Oh yes. And they look like you know. Oh yeah. Oh, they're upset with me already. Mm -hmm. And I'm thinking, how come you're upset with me already? What have I done to you? Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> and you realize Praise that God. somebody has said something. Something. And you are not aware of it. Amen. You know? you know, as you said, man of God, that's yeah. why it talks about, you said, mentioned about discernment. Because how um, uh, uh, Jezebel get to lay a neighbor. Yes. And so he said they provide a high a, 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 a feast that's for him right. and that's welcome right. him to the feast. Yes. Praise God. Yes. And when they welcome him into the feast, this this, this was the deception ah, to make to feel on, like he is he's a part of come something. On. You understand when his plan was to slaughter it you know in, in this end time you wow. have people who come to church with you and they think that oh they they, they are with you my, but my, behind my. you they have the intention <laughs> is to slaughter <laughs> you is to destroy you is to rob you the anointing is to push you out of the presence mm. of god you understand mm. and that's what um, um jezebel did the bible said let us uh, um, um, call a feast and make him feel Come special. On, we will put him on the pedestal, make him feel like uh, you know yes. that he's a part of something, That's and we will right. get scoundrel. Huh. That's what they call. He said scoundrel yes. who will testify Fine. against them. So all these people who who, who go down to the, these people um, in church who go down to this level, they are scoundrels. Yes, you understand. Yes. And therefore, the, the um, Jezebel was able to manipulate. Neighbor mm. and take his, his, his inheritance. Mm. Praise God. He was a righteous man. Right. You understand? He did not, um, he was not going after the things of, uh, of the world or what was offered to him. He hold on to his possession. Oh, That's right. why whatsoever God has given and deposited in us, we have to hold on to it. Mm. It's not for sale. We don't switch it no mm. matter what they are giving to us. You Come understand? On. We have Come to on. discern what is of God and what is not of God. Hallelujah. Go on, man. Hallelujah. And you see, you know. You know, you know, you know, you made some powerful points is that you have people who will pretend yes. to be with you just looking for an opportunity. Trinity. Yes. Do you yep. know, I remember I had a case when I was dealing with some people, they were intentionally looking for mm -hmm. information. Yes. They came for information. Yes. And in fact, when the when the Pharisees often came to Jesus, they came tempting him, the Bible uh -huh. says, mm -hmm. asking him a question. They wanted to see his response. They wanted to carry his answer Amen. Yes. to formulate a, seed for, a, a tool for a plan. You've got to be very careful about... Uh -huh. The people you keep around, and, the, and when they're always trying to pull Amen. you for yes. information, it's they're true. trying to pull you out of you. Do you know? And you see, this is what we call the ministry of the false witness. It is. Exactly. Exactly. There was a God. demonic plan released against Number Flag. Yeah. He had ah. no idea. Oh, praise God. Do you know, praise one of the things we have to look at, a couple of things we have to look at, is what the Bible says about false witness. Yes. Let's go to um, uh, Proverbs. Uh, I think it's Proverbs 19. Proverbs 19, verse 5. Let's have a look at what the Bible says about this false witness. This is a good topic here today. Praise God. <laughs> Are you there with me? Yes, please? I am. Yeah, please read that for us. It said in um, Pro uh, Proverbs 19, verse 5, A false witness will not go unpunished, and he will not speak lies, will not escape. And Sorry, and he who speak lies will not escape. You see, it says the false witness shall not go mm -hmm. unpunished. And you know, I love the scripture in Ezekiel, Ecclesiastes 8 verse 11. It says, because the sentence against an evil work mm -hmm. is not executed speedily, mm -hmm. it's fully set in them, to, um, it's fully set in people to yeah. do wickedness, to Amen. do evil. Amen. That scripture is such a powerful scripture. Amen. And what it says is that God gives you a space mm -hmm. called grace Amen. from your sin, yeah, no, from your st from the time you did sin to the time when the sin must be punished, there's a space in between it mm -hmm. called grace. And what God does, God often sometimes allows that person to be elevated, Amen. Bl blessed. He will allow that person to go up in, in life, do anything, mm -hmm. go forward. But it will come to a point where God will then repay that sin. See, the yes. Bible says the wages of, of sin. sin. Now, nobody gets paid at the beginning of oh, the month. Oh, no, no, no. You get paid at the end of the amen, month. Amen, amen. And in that space called grace, God is expecting a change of heart. Amen, amen. He's giving space for that person. Because he says, what I'm going to do, I'm going to allow that person 
to do what they do, Amen. say what they say, Amen. and then I'm going to see if, because you see, God's ultimate, God ultimately loves every single Amen. person. Yes. And if you look at the life of Ahab, Ahab did that wicked thing, his wife did that wicked thing to, mm -hmm. um, to, to, um, to, to, to Naboth. Yeah. And then after a period of time, you then begin to see that um, Ahab meets Elijah. Yes. Elijah calls the fire from heaven. Amen. The prophets get slain with the sword. Amen. Then Elijah is eventually called on the scene to anoint Jehu. And Jezebel yes. then was thrown down Amen. and her ministry was over. Amen. She didn't. She refused the point of time called grace yes. to repent and go back. Amen. The Bible says a false witness shall surely sure. Amen. not go unpunished. Punish. Amen. You don't have to fight against a false witness. Yes. You don't have to fight to clear your name. Yes. You don't have to fight to fight to clear your, what they've done to you. Amen. All you have to understand what the Bible says is that there is a mark on them yeah. from the moment they spoke against you. Amen. Amen. It's yes. true, prophet. You know, as you speak, what came into my spirit, you know, um, when um, Saul um, died yes. and the, 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 the man, uh, the young guy who um, has seen him when he said, um, help me, don't let it be that the Philistine has killed me to right, fall on his sword. Right, right. And the Bible said he ran to David yes, to ran. tell David what was happened. And when he uh, um, um, narrate the story to David, that he has assisted, oh glory mm. be to God, in the killing of, uh, 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 of Saul, yes. David was furious yes. because of his intention. David said, you thought that I was going to give you this and that, mm. but your intention was wrong. Wrong. And as a result of that, David have been put to death. Do you wow. understand? And wow. that is coming up with the scripture. Do you understand? So sometimes when people come with all these um the, 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 the this negative intention, they, they they walk with you, but their their intention is is not pure. Mm -hmm. Do you understand the code? What the agenda of how they're bringing um, this uh, 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 to you is not pure. That's right. Do you understand? That's it's right. not of God. Right. Do you understand? It's not what you do is the intention, the intention in what you uh, in That's what powerful. you're doing That's you so understand powerful. so because i can give somebody a 10 pound note yes. you understand but yeah. my intention why i'm giving that 10 pound mm -hmm. note is where where it lies that's what yes. god the bible said god man look at the well, outward so, yeah, appearance yeah, but god, god the sees heart. the heart you understand that's so right. it's the that's heart right. You understand? Right. So Naboth did not see that the, what they are doing, that their heart towards him was ah, evil. Raboso, Praise God. God. Raboso, what they were yes. doing, their heart was evil. Naboth didn't attacked. see their heart. He, uh, yeah, he did not see and their see, heart. This is why we need prophetic insight. Amen. Because what the prophetic would do, God, prophetic will let you see beyond e exactly, the facade. Exactly, exactly. Come on, come on now, Amen. come on now, Praise come on God. now, come on now. You see, this is the thing why you see Samuel, even Samuel when he tried to anoint David, yes. he was looking on the outside Appearance. Appearance. Exactly. A false witness can exist in your life when you look on the outside Amen. appearance. When Amen. you look on their tears, yes. when you look how they come with their sad story, oh, yes. when you look at how they come with their false little, oh, he did this. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's true. Yeah. And yeah. when you start praying and taking the matter to the courts of heaven, God will say, go beyond my son and my daughter, exactly. the outward appearance, and see the heart of oh, the matter. Yes. You know, uh, yeah. man of God, oh, yes. glory be to God. You know, oh, there's people that want will serve in the church. Yes. They heart they are serving. But yes. why are you serving? Come on. What now. is your heart while Come you're on. serving? Come on are you serving because you want to be promoted? That's right. Are you serving because of this? Yes. Why is your serving? Because you listen, serving? God who, who see what you're doing in your heart will Come bypass you. Come even on. though you will be serving, yes. God will bypass to go to somebody, somebody else, else because he's seen your heart. Come on. He's now. discerning. Come you understand? On. Come on. So we can't do anything anyhow because of what we see outside right. we have to go to the spirit, the spirit. what Come is on. in that spirit Come what on. is taking on? on what spirit is operating sometimes there are people that is talking you understand and we are hearing a voice but who the voice we are hearing whose voice are we are hearing Come Come you understand Come are we hearing the voice of god mm. are we hearing the voice of the devil you understand discernment is needed discernment you understand needed. To, to to avoid false witnessing that's right you understand you see you see you see many Many of us, many of you, some of you even watching here right now in this discussion, you have been a victim of false witness. Yes. You you have heard something, but you haven't seen nothing. Amen. Amen. <laughs> it's true, Papa. You see, that's what it is. You gotta go past the hearing. 
and enter the seeing. Mm -hmm. the, Jesus said the seeing they don't see. Yeah, exactly. Hearing they don't hear. What he was meaning, he was meaning that even though they're receiving sound yes. and receiving image, yes. they're not perceiving yes, the vision God. that yes. is set before it's them. True. When you take the matter and you start inquiring of the Lord about what is the thing behind it, the Lord will tell you the truth behind the it matter. It is true, Pastor. That's when we come into the realm of the seer. Amen. The seer. The seer sees what actually happens. Amen. The Amen. moment Elijah now gets into the scene of Ahab, yes. the first thing God says to him, this is the man that killed the righteous man. Amen. Amen. And you read the story. I love the story. He says, Naboth's blood. He goes, tell Ahab, mm. Naboth's blood cries out for me from the ground. Amen. When you assassinate a man of God, when you assassinate somebody that is righteous, when you assassinate somebody's character, their blood from the ground is crying up against you. Amen. The same thing happened when Cain killed his brother Abel. The Bible says that the blood of um, the blood of Abel was crying, crying out, out to the Lord. Yes. That was crying out. There was a seed sow. We've got to be careful of the seeds we amen, sow. Amen. Amen. Because everything we sow in this lifetime is a, is, is a seed. Yes. You either sow a seed of good to reap a good harvest. Oh, yes. Or you sow a seed of bad to reap a bad, bad harvest. harvest. Yeah. And a lot of people think that they do things, they get away with it, but they don't realize they just sow a seed. It's true, Pastor. What you sow, will you will reap. Amen. Amen. That's and you true. see, on what we're doing, when we entertain, when we allow people to convince us we not only become um um you know um a victim of this but we become a partaker of the curse that they've sown oh yes pastor and that's why the word of god said by their fruits you, you shall, shall know them, them. you understand now. because whatsoever they plant is gonna bring fruit yes you yes. understand fruit will come from yes. your, 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 yes. your your seed that you have planted mm. so by your fruits they shall be known mm. you understand so god mm. is looking for the fruits that you're gonna produce you understand? Because mm. from the fruits, you will be known. Exactly. Yes. You know, listen, I hope you're being blessed here. Do you mm -hmm. know, this is this is understanding. We're looking at this topic, you know, understand the ministry of the false witness. And, you know, it's be. I'm telling you, well, Sister Roxanne, I've been blessing my soul. Amen. I know you've been blessed at, at, at home. And, you know, God has really been speaking so powerfully about this topic. Now, I want to show you a couple of practical ways you can identify a false witness. Amen. Now, <laughs> you know. A couple of things God showed me about a false witness. The first thing is investigate. Amen. Amen. A lot of people just take what they hear. Amen. But the Bible says in Acts, there was a group of people called the Bereans mm -hmm. that when they heard the man of God speak, mm -hmm. they went back and investigate. Mm -hmm. They investigated. And you see, some of the times, you know, when you investigate, you don't go from, you, you have to, you have to, you have to investigate from a point of view that let me get all the people in the story mm -hmm. together. Amen. A false witness will never want the people in the story they're talking about. Oh, yes. To come together. Yes, it's true. False witness hate gathering. Mm -hmm. You know, you arrange a truth gathering, they ain't going to gather. Amen. It's true. It's <laughs> That's true. the first thing you get. Mm -hmm. A false witness. They can't take an investigation. Do you know? That's why some people, I remember some people who when they're lying, they're like, oh, 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 yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh child, you, don't, you don't believe me. Uh, you don't believe me. <laughs> and they're getting vexed. Um, you see, you see you people and they're getting angry. The reason they're getting angry because they know you're digging deeper. deeper. Yeah, it's true. It's when you take, lies are always surface. Yes. The truth has a root. The truth has a foundation. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Lies crumble. But when you go to the foundation of the matter, let's pull you both together. Oh, yes. Let's pull you both together. Listen, then we're gonna go. we to go to this story. Amen. I love this story. Go First Kings chapter four. We're gonna come down just now. Amen. Do you know, we've got a couple of minutes left. Do you know, investigate the matter. Now, I'm gonna quickly read this very, very quickly. This is after Solomon. First um, Kings chapter four. First Kings chapter three. Sorry, First Kings chapter three. Uh -huh. Yeah, this is when after Solomon had been endowed of wisdom, mm -hmm. okay? Mm -hmm. And verse 16 says, There came two women that were harlots unto the king and stood before him. And the one woman said, Oh Lord, I and I this woman dwell in one house. Mm -hmm. And I was delivered of a child in her house. Amen. And it came to pass the third day after I was delivered, 
that this woman was delivered also and we were together and there was no stranger with us in the house mm -hmm. save we two together in the house so two friends in the same house mm -hmm. had their babies exactly the same time yeah. yes. now watch this and this woman's child died in the night because she laid on the child yes and she arose at midnight took my son beside me mm -hmm. and while thy handmaiden slept and laid it in her bosom and laid her dead child in my bosom mm -hmm. and I when I rose up in the morning and gave my child to suck behold it was dead and when I had considered in the morning behold it was not my son which I did bear mm -hmm. and the other woman said nay but the living is my son, and the dead is your son. And this said, No, that the dead is thy son, and the living is thy son. Mm -hmm. Thus they said before the king, and the king, and, and the, then they said, Then said the king, The one say, This is my son liveth, and the other one says, My son is dead, and the other say, But nay, but thy son is dead, and the, my son liveth. And the king said, Bring me out a sword. Yeah, Amen. <laughs> I love this Amen. revelation. Bring me out a sword. sword. Watch this. We're gonna go. Let me just catch you with that. The, they're both saying that the dead son mm -hmm. was the other one's One son. son. Yeah. So somebody laid on their own son mm -hmm. and switched the babies, babies over. Yeah. And when they switched the babies over, they then began to say, "Right, that's actually the dead person's son." Mm -hmm. And so King Solomon's hearing this for the first yes. time. Somebody is a false witness here. Amen, yes. And what he decides to do, he decides to investigate. Yes, yes. <laughs> it's true. And how does he investigate? He takes out the sword. Amen. And watch what he says Amen. here. He says, and the king said, bring me a sword. And they brought a sword before the king. This is verse 24, 25. Amen. And the king said, divide the living child in two, mm -hmm. give half to the one and give half to the other. Amen. Then spake the woman whose child was living unto the king, for her bowels yearned Amen. upon her and her son. And she said, oh, my Lord, give her the living child. Mm -hmm. And in no wise slay. But the other one said, let it neither be mine nor thine. Mm -hmm. So one is like saying, no, mm -hmm. please spare the child. Yes. And the other one's like, chuck, chuck the pit knee in half. Exactly, because <laughs> mine is dead anyway. Yeah. Yes, mine is dead anyway. <laughs> Chop it in half. And then the king answered and said, Give her the living child. Child, amen. <laughs> Give her the living child and no wise kill it, for she is the mother. mother. When the sword comes in, amen. When the sword of the spirit, spirit comes, comes in, in. Amen. which is the word the of God, of truth. the word of God will give you a discernment amen. of who's telling the truth. Amen. The Bible says in Hebrews 4, verse 12, it says, The word of God, the word is quick and powerful, sharper than any two edged sword, sword yes. discerning, discerning the amen. bones from marrow. Amen. From Praise God. Amen. When you start comparing people to the word, and as Roxanne said, the fruit of their character, Amen. look at it from the word. Look at the track record. Amen. Amen. Now, if someone tells me that she is a thief. I have a look at when is she thief before? Uh -huh. <laughs> Where is she teach before? When you go before a prosecution, they're going to look at the history, Amen. the criminal history. Amen. Where is the history? Amen. Amen. What is the history? Amen. When someone lies against a ministry, against a man of God, and you're lying against somebody who's been ordained, people don't understand about being ordained. Ordained means you have to go through a process of holiness, Amen. righteousness, serving. The history is Amen. there. Amen. It is very unlikely that the shepherd is a liar. In fact, the Bible says the wolves are in sheep clothing. Amen. So when you're now discerning and looking at lying spirits and false witnesses false witnesses you've got to look at the people that are in the story and compare them to amen, the word amen, amen. look at what the word says about their yes, character Lord. look at their lifestyle yes. look at their mindset amen. look at their look at their thinking amen. try to have an understanding get a revelation from their character amen. do you amen. know when jesus i'm gonna let you say a little bit in a bit amen. as we close you know woman of god but i want to say this when jesus went to pontius pilate yes pontius I looked at him. Amen. He realized that everybody was saying he blasphemed Amen. did this. And then he looked at him and looked at Jesus and he began to see mm -hmm. past what people were saying. saying. Yes. In order to be a false witness, are you strong enough Amen. to see it's past it's what it's people true. are saying? It's true. Oh, because Christ everybody's God. always saying something. something yeah. But can you hear what the Lord is saying? Amen. Amen. Can you hear what Amen. the Lord is saying? Praise Give God. us a one minute yes, pass. Yes. Yeah. You know, as he was talking, um, what come back to my 
my spirit was when Apostle Paul was preaching and yes. the woman with the divine spirit, glory be to Come God, and he was <laughs> prophesying. Yes. You understand? Yes. And anybody would say, yes, this woman is a prophet. She yes. is prophesying. But the Bible said when Apostle Paul heard it, he could not take it anymore. He rebuked that <laughs> serpent out come of that on, woman. On, so therefore, on. he looked behind what was said. Same. Even though what he was saying was true, true. she was speaking the truth, but which was from another no, no, voice. Hold on, hold on there. Hold Praise on there. God. You said, even what she was saying is yes, true. Yes. Now, you see, one of the things I have to stop, I have to talk about. Yes, that's this. Okay, The Bible says this is that. A little leaven leavens the whole thing. Amen, life. amen. You see, you see, the whole thing is that when people are wanting to lie about you, yeah. it's easier to lie about you with the truth. So, oh, yes. Lie about you about shortcomings in your character. Oh, yes. And then magnify that thing. He, she just said, you just said yes. something so powerful. Yes. You said the woman, the woman was saying things true. Oh, yes. Oh, yes, but from another spirit. Do you understand? Because the devil sometimes he comes with a little truth and a and a lot of lies. Wow. So he mixes wow. it. So the way wow. if you don't have discernment wow. to able to understand that this is not of God, you Come buy it. Come on. You take Come on it. Now. You understand? That's why the Bible said, test every spirit yes. and see if they are of God. Come on. Praise Hallelujah. God. Hallelujah. Listen, we're gonna have to close here today. Amen. But I hope you've been blessed. Amen. I've certainly been blessed. Praise you God. You know, I'm so blessed, my sister Rosanna. Yeah. You know, <laughs> we had a great Praise time today God. and you know i hope you've learned something today about the false witness Amen. and especially on the last comment why people believe false witnesses yes. is because the false witness can be a prophet to them oh yes we are living in a place of the opportunist Amen. i don't even care if it's the truth as oh, long yes, as you true. give me what the blessing is yes, or that true. you have your carrying yes, i don't mind walking with you but paul was a man of integrity yes. he didn't care about this woman of her divination yes. Yes. her crown following oh, yes. He says, I'd rather have integrity in yes, my camp amen. than a liar in my camp. Amen. And amen. we've got to be very careful. So listen, God bless you today. Amen. We love you. Listen, this is, uh, this is probably going to be part one of this topic. Amen. We're going to have to go deeper in this Praise topic, God. you know. But I want to encourage you. Someone, you may be out there right now, you feel lied upon. Amen. You feel betrayed. You feel upset. You feel like you've been a victim of a situation. Amen. You feel like the truth is never going to come out. You're wondering. Everybody's getting on the bandwagon to keep kill you. Yes. Just like Naboth, they got on the bandwagon, Amen. they worked oh, together yes. Oh, yes. to assassinate his character. Yes. But I need to tell you that the person that's accusing you has not read the end of the book. Amen. The end of the book is that God is a fighting, God is fighting for you, God is behind you and just, and the way that Ahab died, Ahab tried to cover mm -hmm. with Jehoshaphat's clothes, oh, yes. it's like me trying to wear Roxanne's clothes, and, but the arrow that was destined to destroy Ahab still found him even when he is disguised. Alleluia. I'm to tell you that vengeance is the Lord, Lord and amen. he shall repay. Amen. God bless you. We love you. We're calling from the prophet's corner here. Amen. Bless you. We'll see you next time.